it's that time again, Broncos. Time to kick off the new school year. And what better way to do that than to look back at some highlights from the 2022-23 academic year. We started off bidding farewell to our beloved CLA building and soon saw the construction of the park at 98 on the footprint of our old pointy building, providing a new green space for our campus community. And that's not the only new green that our campus received. The campus received over $37 million in grants and funding. This supported programs for aspiring teachers, climate change research, underrepresented STEM students, and more. We also raised $9.5 million in philanthropic gifts last year. And Giving Day had a record-breaking $630,000 committed for scholarships, polytechnic experiences, and student support resources. And we also received a major contribution from the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation to provide micro-internships to students in select courses. It's because of this commitment to student success that it's no surprise we're considered a top producer of Hispanic graduates and number one polytechnic university in social mobility. The school year also welcomed the return of the hot dog caper after a two year hiatus. And Cal Poly Pomona Foundation was renamed Cal Poly Pomona Enterprises. And the changes didn't stop there. We also welcomed a few new Broncos into our family. Sandeep Krishnamurthy as Singlin Family Dean of the College of Business Administration. Andrew Ketstever as Dean of the College of Engineering. Janelle Pitt Parker as Dean of the College of Education and Integrative Studies. Camille Sulin Johnson as Dean of the College of Letters, Arts and Social Sciences. Margie Faree Jones as Dean of the Collins College of Hospitality Management. And Cindy Pickett as the Presidential Associate for Inclusion and Chief Diversity Officer. But new faces weren't the only exciting news. Current faculty and staff, the backbone of our university, showed what it meant to be a Bronco. John Lloyd, history professor and co-chair of the Alternative Transportation Committee, was appointed to the Foothill Transit Governing Board to continue advocating for the use of public transportation. Psychology professor Lori Barker was named Western Psychological Association president to address prominent social issues and leave her legacy on community service. And the Office of Student Success, Equity and Innovation partnered with Brown University to discover how our very own Billy Chat keeps students engaged and promotes a sense of belonging. That sense of belonging is important for us, which is why we launched the Black Thriving Initiative to promote equity, justice and inclusion throughout the campus. We also made sure our military-affiliated students, faculty, and staff continued to feel supported by celebrating the Veterans Resource Center's 10-year anniversary. But that wasn't the only way we were making a difference. We also wanted to set a green example and help our environment. To do so, Landscape Services saved 2 million gallons of water by replacing non-functional lawns with wood chips and mulch. And we expanded access to and from our campus by adding a Silver Street bus stop by the SSB, allowing students to travel to downtown LA in less than an hour. And let's not forget some of the amazing accomplishments of our students. Biology student, now alumna, Diana Aguilar Cruz was appointed CSU student trustee to represent her peers at CSU Board of Trustees meetings. Student athlete Ayana Fields was named the 2022-23 CCAA Female Athlete of the Year. Our Rosefoot team took home the Extraordinaire Award at the 134th Tournament of Roses Parade. And our cybersecurity, Model UN, and hospitality teams all won the top spots in their own international competitions. So now that you've seen a few highlights of what we did last year, let's get ready for the new academic year and celebrate our 85th anniversary. We're excited to have you back, Broncos.